In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to install the necessary software for your NeoFox-based oxygen sensor system from Ocean Optics. Before connecting your NeoFox system to your computer, you must first install the NeoFox Viewer application. This installs all the required drivers. If you do not install the software prior to connecting your device, the system will not properly recognize your NeoFox. In this demonstration, we'll use a single-channel NeoFox, the Bifboro 1000-2 Bifurcated Fiber Optic Probe, the Foxy R Oxygen Sensor Probe, and the NeoFox Viewer software applications. First, make sure there are no other applications running on your computer. To start the software installation process, insert the CD provided with your shipment that contains the NeoFox Viewer software package. You can manually start this CD by right-clicking on your optical drive icon and then selecting Auto Play. Unzip the NeoFox Viewer to a file location of your preference. Begin your installation by double-clicking on the NeoFox ViewSetup.msi icon. You should be greeted with the NeoFox Viewer Setup Wizard screen. Now click Next. The next screen is the Select Installation Folder screen. Here you can choose where the program is installed and who has access to the program. In this tutorial, we will leave the default values and grant access to everyone that uses this computer. Now click Next. The Confirm Installer screen now appears, indicating that your software is ready to be installed in the location that you've specified. Click Next to begin your installation. You will now see a screen indicating that NeoFox Viewer has been successfully installed. Exit the installer. Now that we've installed your software, let's set up the hardware. If you are using a temperature probe, connect it to the port on the back panel of the NeoFox. Connect one leg of the fiber optic probe to the connector on the LED port on the front of your NeoFox. Connect the other leg of the fiber to the connector on the front panel of your NeoFox. Next, connect the splice bushing provided in your shipment to the free end of the fiber optic probe. Then connect your Foxy R probe to the other end of the splice bushing. Plug the DC jack of the NeoFox power supply unit into the receptacle on the back of the NeoFox and now plug the adapter into an AC wall outlet. Next, connect the provided USB cable to the back of the NeoFox unit. Connect the other end of the USB cable to your computer. When you've plugged your USB cable into your computer, you'll see the new hardware wizard. In this tutorial, we're using a PC with Windows XP as its operating system. If you are using Windows Vista, the process is very similar. If you are asked to connect to Windows Update, select No or Not at this time and click Next. Now select Install from a list or specific location and click Next. When you are prompted to choose your search and installation options, select the checkbox next to Include this location in the search and then click Browse. In the File Selector window, navigate to the NeoFox Viewer directory. This is typically located at Program Files, Ocean Optics, NeoFox Viewer, USB Driver. Now select the USB Driver folder and click OK. When you've done that, click Next. The wizard will now begin installing the necessary drivers. At some point, you may see a window stating that the software has not passed Windows logo testing. Click Continue anyway. You may be prompted again for the location of the driver. 
If you are prompted for this location, navigate to NeoFox Viewer, USB Driver, I386, and then select the .sys file in this directory. After the wizard has successfully installed all the drivers for NeoFox, click Finish to exit. Now that the hardware and software are installed, let's start the NeoFox Viewer application and show you some of its features. NeoFox Viewer provides a lot of information and features. However, during normal operation, you will probably only use three functions oxygen reading, sensor type selection, and calibration. The following figure shows the main window. The oxygen reading is located at the top of the main window. When you access the software for the first time, the oxygen field will be blank as shown above. To see an oxygen value, you must first enter calibration information for your probe. This calibration information is unique for each oxygen sensor probe, but is also independent of the NeoFox hardware unit. Therefore, a new calibration must be loaded each time a new sensor is added or before its first use. The corresponding towel in microseconds and temperature reading are located just to the right of the oxygen reading. The probe type selection buttons are located on the right side of the main window. For this tutorial, we are using a FOXY sensor, so we select the FOXY button. The tab should turn yellow when selected. Below the probe type selection buttons are the gain mode buttons. It is strongly recommended that you keep the gain mode set to automatic. Below the gain mode buttons are the underlying parameters used in the hardware for determining the lifetime tau. In the upper right hand corner is a graph displaying the fluorescence decay curve, the red reference LED curve, or both. You can switch what is displayed on this graph by selecting the blue, red, or both buttons above the graph. We have now completed the software and hardware setup of your new NeoFox-based oxygen measurement system. And we've also shown you the basic layout of the NeoFox viewer software. In the next part of this tutorial series, we'll walk you through performing a single temperature linear two-point calibration using nitrogen as a 0% oxygen standard and room air as the other standard at 20.9% oxygen. For more information about NeoFox oxygen sensing systems, please be sure to visit us online at oceanoptics.com and tune in again next time to spectroscopytv.com. You can also contact us via email at info at oceanoptics.com.